All right, welcome back. Lots of updates today. This weather is really bad. I don't know what's happened. She's turned for the worse. And um, we've had a lot of rain today. It's probably over an inch in the last couple of hours. And this is probably the best weather we've had for me to get out, try and get a bit of a film in. Um, prior to that though, in, in amongst the storms, we had Louis here from Hop Auctions. We managed to do some filming today because um, we are planning an auction upcoming. Um, main reason for that is that I want to build a new loft. And today's like today really, really make me want to get a new loft as quick as possible. Um, I've worked really hard to fix little drips in here and there in this loft, but this was always a temporary loft, this one. Um, remember this section? Here was the original green loft that I first built here. I just built it cheap um, just to test the waters to see uh, how well the pigeons would handle living out here. And um, it's time, I think, for us to upgrade into something much nicer. Uh, I still will probably race out of this one next season, but we do need to start planning and raising some funds to build what we need. But you can see a few little bits of water sort of creeping in, only little, little drops, not too much, but enough to... I don't want any water in here. So um, that's the plan. The only reason that um, we are having a sale and we are selling good birds too. I need to raise some money so we can build a new loft because um, I need to eliminate anything um, and everything basically that's um, going to be negative towards conditioning pigeons. Um, so my next one, I want to have lights, fans, I want to be able to shut it right up if we need to on days like today. I can just completely shut it up, just run a little bit of ventilation through there. Um, and I want to be able to come out here at night time if I need to, if I get home late from work, I'll just turn the lights on, come and feed the birds. And I want to have security camera, not so much for security, but I'd love to have a camera facing on the trap. So days that I'm tossing, um, we can really keep an eye on the birds coming in if I'm at work. I can see them come in um, or any other time of the day if I'm at, like if say for example I'm at work and my birds got coming home late I can actually see that there's birds there because sometimes I sit there at work going oh is my birds there where are they like can't wait to get home and check but now I can check so uh, we do have some birds up for sale we will have a look at it shortly um, but basically so we'll just recap over the weekend because I've only done a community post that's uh, we were planning to race. We had all the birds basketed. I had four birds basketed. Basically all the Southern clubs got their birds on the truck and the truck 45 kilometers into the journey, which is halfway through collecting all the birds in, the, in our federation, it broke down and it had a collapsed fan belt pulley or something. They couldn't fix it. Um, seems to be ongoing issue with our truck now. It's getting old and it keeps breaking and um, they could just be rumors but there's been a few little breakdowns recently, which is disappointing. I think it's time maybe we need to start having auctions as a federation and, and invest in um, the future and probably look at a little bit smaller truck because we don't, you know, we generally only have about 1,000 to 1,500 birds probably normally. So, you know, these are things that probably, you know, they need to look at. So anyway, I'm happy to help that. I'm happy to donate some birds for a, a sale as well. But basically the truck broke down, my four birds spent the night on the truck, broken down somewhere, I don't know, probably on the side of the road, I have no idea, um, and they were released in the morning. So out of the four birds I sent, only three come back, so I'm missing one from 45 kilometres, so I just don't know what happened. Um, realistically, I shouldn't lose any. Um, especially that Mealy Cockbird because he's been out to 300 kilometers. So 45 should be a walk in the park for him. So yeah, that's what happened. That's basically a bit of an update. Um, now, all I'm gonna focus on is the Young Bird Derby. I'm hoping I can condition up um, a bird. We'll go and have a look at him. There's one bird that I think we're gonna try and focus on. The Young Bird Derby is in about four to five weeks time. I think it's in August and it's about 500 kilometers. And we do have a son of Rosetta, which is the big cock bird down here. Um, we'll, have, we'll get him and have a look at him at some point. Um, he's my only hope for doing well in the Young Bird Derby, if that thing's line up enough to do it. It's just been a pretty rough year this year, which is um, quite disappointing. But we do need to make some changes. 
I do have the new birds coming in. We've got all these babies in here, which are hopefully going to be our hope for next season. Um, all my birds, we will go and have a look in a minute, but they are starting to go back down on eggs again. So um, none of these ones will be for sale. There will be some birds out of here. I had birds that we were going to send to Patea. Um, then I just didn't have enough money to send those ones, and I only picked two out of the bunch that I was going to send. So we sent two. And um, yeah, so we'll sell a couple of them. There's some storms across Hardy Kruger, which are two times black power. Um, and we've got, what else we've got in there? We've got, I'm going to sell Little Storm as well. Um, only because I think that she will be valuable for someone. She has raced out to about 400 kilometers and she always landed with a clockbird as well. There's a few other ones. I might even sell my black cockbird, which is down off the tide grizzle, which was our clockbird in the very tough race. And there is anything else in there. Um, and there's two of the Reynard Key Bonsals, which are full brother and sisters to two of our Meadows birds that are doing really well. I wasn't going to sell them, but I've had a bit of a think now. Um, and I think it's just gonna to be too hard to try and get them ready and flying around the loft because I think we missed that window. But they will make really good um, cross birds. They are really tough birds and very smart. I'm super impressed with them and I'm gonna do a lot more breeding with the mother and father of those because I think um, I've got a good feeling that their brother and sister in Meadows is actually gonna make it back here to be a breeding bird. I think it's gonna do quite well, to be honest, in the Meadow One Loft race because um, they are not fast birds, but they're better for those tougher races. and. That's kind of what I'm really working on. And I do have a, what else have I got in there? Um, and I've got one best kittle cross 83, which is, a, it's a beautiful pigeon cockbird. We'll put him in there as well. Um, he was a potato bird as well. So a few of them are those potato birds. I was gonna loft fly them, but obviously with potato the way it was and you know trying to figure things out and get those birds lined up to go, just didn't happen. So there is, some really good quality birds here for sale. Um, and the only reason, like I said, that I'm selling birds, which I probably don't think I'm gonna do again, especially releasing some of the storm birds, is um, just so we can build a loft, because the new one's gonna be expensive. And you know, there's no money in YouTube, so we're not really getting much money out of here. So hopefully we can sell a few birds, and then we can start really sort of planning the, um, the new loft, which will be, um, a work in progress i'm not going to race it i'm just gonna well not race through it but like you know i'm gonna rush it i just want to take my time make it really nice and neat and um 100 weatherproof of every like temperature highs and lows drafts damp water penetration all that kind of stuff it's going to be able to control all of them um and i do want to downsize my breeding stock as well ideally i'd like six pairs but um, we'll see how we travel over the next um, week or two with some decisions there. But we still will have nine birds and then we have another bunch of birds too that are my ringed birds sitting in Melbourne that we will sell and they're like pure veensters and everything. They're beautiful pigeons, so they'll be part of that sale. Um, so you just do need to get ready for that one because um, probably the first and only time some of these birds are gonna be available. Just as I was... Um saying that we didn't get one back from yesterday from the broken down truck release we had one come back and i don't know if he's injured it's the meal no he looks all right i'll have to check him over in a minute and give him something to eat but he's obviously been out overnight and um seems to be happy and healthy which is good so we got one back that's good all right let's have a quick little look in here because all our birds should be starting to go back down on eggs again very very soon which will be basically our last round and then after that what we will do is probably separate all the cocks and hens and then we'll start thinking about um, what we're gonna do for our one loft pairings because the one lofts will start to creep around quite quickly um, that little hen on the left is absolutely beautiful at the moment so the, her babies um, over in the other loft looking quite good so it's very interesting to see how those ones perform but um cockbird it's beautiful look at him nice stance on him too so these uh cockbirds new ones we got in a little bit later I haven't been able to test any of these babies yet but um pretty excited to um 
get those ones moving and see how they perform for us. But beautiful little hen, that one. She's pretty close to laying. I reckon we'll get a lay, probably her laying tonight. She's pretty bulgy in the back end and she's sort of hanging around that nest bowl quite, um, quite religiously, which is good. Um, Shock's daughter, she laid one last night, so she should be laying um, another one tomorrow, which is good. So this will be her first ever babies. Um, if you remember, um, we had her and her sister, the nest mates. So I've got two hens out of one nest, which is fantastic. I uh, wish I could do that more often, but we end up with a lot more cocks. But we raced both of them. I lost the sister, but this little hen, she went all the way out to about 350. So I thought, you know what, let's bring her back in here um, and give her a round or two because we're pretty much done for breeding now and she's the only one left we got off shock. So I thought, um, let's keep that staff and rape blood pretty thick in here and start sprinkling into some of the race birds for next year. Cause she's a beautiful hen. Anyone that comes here and sees her and holds her, they're like, well, she's a nice little type of hen. So um, really excited to see how those eggs turn out. Not too much else has gone on. She's got two eggs. I weaned out the baby on this side. Um, Apache's locked in the bottom down there because he's just a troublemaker at the moment trying to get into every box and cause trouble. And the hen's hanging around that nest bowl too, which you'll see um, probably, probably see some eggs t tonight or tomorrow, I'd say. Um, and I think this is the last time these will be together for a little bit. Um, and we'll probably look at mixing things up a little bit for the future. She's not too far off lane too. She's doing pretty well. And my little mealy hen. She's a champion. She's back to her normal self. Look at her. She's just as comfortable in the race basket as in this nest bowl. She's got the same attitude. Um, super little hen. She's the hen that merely just come back. That's her son. We clocked some of her babies this year um, and also raced her for one race, I think it was. I mean, she was 16th Feb in the second club. So um, she's a fast little hen, this one. Beautiful, beautiful type. Um, that's why she's having some babies with the 83. But she's a beautiful hen. We probably might take some of your chip rings now soon. I don't think I'm going to race her anymore. We'll just loft fly her after she's finished breeding. But as far as speed bird goes, she's pretty good. But um, she can go out far. I don't really classify her as a speed bird. She is a little bit of speed in her, but um, I think she's more of a tough bird than the other birds, but we'll see. She's just a funny character. So well, I'm really interested to test her babies a little bit more this year. Last year, we've had her paired up with King. Um, yeah, the results were okay. The, those birds sort of fizzled out a little bit, um, but I'm pairing her back into my family of birds, which she's got in her. Um, hopefully that will give us a little bit more distance in there, which is kind of what we need. I'd like to get the birds out to 500 at least. Um, where this hen, she's done 500. No problems at all. She's done that last year, didn't ya? Good girl. Beautiful hen. But that's about it for the time being. So do not forget, we do have an auction coming up soon and I will go through all the birds individually. Um, I'm going to go start sorting them out now. I've got, I know all the ones we're going to auction. There's about 10, I think, 9 to 10. Um, and I will make vi videos and go through them individually. This probably will be the only opportunity to get um, certain birds from me because I don't, I'm not comfortable in selling it. We did do some filming with Hop Auctions before. Um, there will probably be some videos coming out about that and you'll just see that I'm not overly comfortable in trying to sell birds. But if you've been watching this channel, you know... Um, most of these birds pretty well, so you know how well they perform and um, the certain circumstances that we have to deal with. So stay tuned because um, there is a lot coming up. Hopefully we have a successful sale and we can start reinvesting that money into a decent loft and um, redo the whole thing from scratch, which um, I'm pretty excited to do, especially on days like today because it's... Um, there's always little bits of dampness here or there, which I am getting rid of. I've had enough. We're going to sort this out. So um, stay tuned and I'll update you on some uh, auction information very, very soon. So catch us. Hey, I love this hen. So nice, eh? We're selling a son of hers too. I think that red one that just come back. 
We'll probably auction him because he's also a beautiful, beautiful pigeon. Okay. 